In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And in the land of the buttonless, the 35 button phone is a little too much. So we're introducing the all new compromise, the Blackberry Motion, or BBM for short. The BB stands for bezel bezel. You see, we do things a little differently to the big companies out there. Like rather than releasing our phone through a live stream around the world, we announce it casually in the middle of the Middle East. At Jitex. What? You've never heard of Jitex? We've had 37 of them. Apparently, it's the home of the Bucketatron. The name Tagawaki. And the Reclino Jiggler. It's a real crowd pleaser. Hey, if it's good enough for Professor X, it's good enough for me. Protect your privacy with the BB Motions Locker app. That password protects your dick pics with our fingerprint technology. That reminds you every time you unlock who we are again. Because we haven't been relevant since the Middle Ages. Our phones are made of dragon glass. Ah, but it comes with the latest Android update. I mean, outdate. But that's okay. Because this Android is for work. And Google Play is for work. We found that particular phrase in the contradictionary. The Blackberry Motion. This business beauty is too much to handle. Mainly because we haven't decided how heavy it is. Shaboom! And it's time for another Funky Monday video. We get updates on you, me, and everything funky. Yeah, what do you think of the new Blackberry phone, huh? Hmm. I wonder if it could tempt me away from my sweet, sweet Blackberry classic. Mm. Glad I got this one working again. In fact, let me know in the poll which is about to show up whether you think Blackberry should stick to their older physical keyboard phones or if they should make the full-on transition to touch. Um, or if I guess they should just hurry up and die already, let me know in the poll. But right now, I think we have to just address last week's competition for the Sam Time Sexy Sign mouse pad. We got over 2,000 entries. Let's, uh, sorry, I'm a little floppy. I'm not usually like that. Um, but let's see who won by traveling in time to the live vlog, which was live at the time, but it's not live now. But um, you get it, let's have a look. Ha ah, ah, ha, that's right, Funky Monday, Sam. This is the live competition for the Sam Time Sexy Sign mouse pad. Let's find out who won. Ethan. Ethan is the winner. Yay. Wow, congratulations. Uh, I will be in contact soon to send off this Sam Time Sexy Sign mouse pad. There's only two left available and I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Maybe we'll sell them, maybe we'll auction them off, maybe we'll do another giveaway. But I think right now we should do a little bit of a community news. Ooh, first up, Connie, who sent in some funky mail of this hand-drawn Sobotka. It's very nice, and Sobotka, he's just over the moon. Well, he's over the, the top of the... He, he's on the top turnbuckle about it, so thank you. And like you say in your letter, it is good to get um, something in the mail which isn't bills all the time, so thanks. Hello, we added some new chin emojis to the Discord server and Jimity Jam just had to have a bit of fun with it and photoshopped a Chernobyl. And finally, Ryan Holmes, Sam of Approval alumni from way back, way back in a Funky Monday where we had forums on the website and a full-size ladder and we were giving away t-shirts. Oh boy, how times have changed and how buttholes have puckered. Very tight, very tight now. Um, but anyway, he has released a new EP for his Rockamajig album. Groovy, so well done Ryan for following your dreams and making stuff happen. And now it's time for this week's certified funky stamp of approval, which goes to the one and only Ben Tarnowski for designing the DIY Daydream Tur shirt for last week's video. At the last minute, he stayed up to like 5 a.m. to do it. Absolute legend. And of course, a special mention to Tempest, who also had a go. So thank you, Ben, and for that we must now drop an egg. <laughs> 
Yes, each time that someone wins a certified funky stamp of approval, we drop an egg in their name into Hello, the Retro Funky Mug. And if it falls in and doesn't break, they win themselves a same time sexy sun support card. Let's drop an egg. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the egg sports on this particularly windy day. Here we have our regular contender. He is very regular, having plenty of fiber. Oh, he slipped on the egg. It is in the fancy uh, egg holder, which he does manage to get into the spa. It is a heck of a target, so not too much accolades can be had there. And if the council is watching, that is an empty spa. No kid is going to drown in that. So that'd have to be pretty stupid to drown in an empty spa. Here's the drop. All that for that. Oh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. And subscribe if this is your first time here. And let me know what you think of the whole egg game thing. Does it make sense to new people? I don't know. And also, I want to build the new Sam Time store. You'll notice the tur shirts there are only $20 each Australian, which is an absolute bargain. And uh, Patriots at certain levels will get free shipping soon. So that's very exciting. Uh, if you have any graphical ability, let me know. I want to add new shirts there. I'm thinking it could be cool if someone's got cool typography for Escape the Ordinary, Embrace the Funky. Put that on a tur shirt. Now we're talking. So let me know on Twitter. But until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, Escape the Ordinary and Embrace the Funky. Just like the, the shirt will hopefully say soon. A Sam time is starting off. Subscribe today. Punk it down. I feel like everyone will think that I'm quite short because the table comes all the way up to here, but I'm very tall. I just can't fit in the shots otherwise, all right? I'm quite tall and I've got a disproportionately fat head and it's just not very kind, all right? The whole, this whole industry. Even my own store sells unachievable sexiness. Why well, should put that on a shirt?